smoke and grooves, maybe this, seven. This was a crazy smoke and grooves because when you think about it, we didn't really belong there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Watch, watch. Uh, oh, can you go to the bottom of the bill? Look at that. Foxy Brown was on it? Well, yeah. I don't she even started, no, no, Foxy she, Brown. Yeah, she started on it, and then she didn't last but like a week. She's off. Yeah, yeah, she was off. Quick. You know? But, yeah. uh, the, but the, look, what do you think about it? The Roots. The Roots was not Brand new heavies, yeah. Erica Badu, George Clinton. That would have been just fine without us right there. No way, man. You can't say that. Yes, well, you hear well, that well, all the time, bro. Well, stop. Stop yeah, that bro. nonsense, The show's bro. called fucking Smoking Grooves, yeah, dude. Bro, stop. Yeah, like, no, 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 but hear me out. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out, though. All, all the all the music there, with the exception of Foxy Brown, was more smooth, jazzy type and funky type of uh, vibe. Cypress Hill ain't funky. We are, but like we're very aggressive, especially in this time. Yeah, in '97 for sure. Oh man, we were <laughs> yeah. super aggressive. I mean, yes, it worked. You know, people loved it. But I'm saying. They could have, like, Smoke and Grooves, the, the tour could have did that one without us. I think it would have held up either way because that was a dope lineup when you look at it. I, I mean, mean, are the Roots still performing? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. What they're the, the, hell, they're, they're on Jimmy oh. Fallon every I week. Fallon, and, yeah, I was fan and, of Jimmy Fallon. And, 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 you know, because of that, they, they do even more shows than they used to do. Because yeah, they're think, constantly yeah. playing. I think it was around that time, 97, 98, I saw them with Rage at the shoreline in San Francisco. Oh, Roots wow. opened and Rage yeah. finished. It was pretty good. It was like a weird mix, yeah. but it was pretty good, uh, pretty fucking good show. Some of those yeah. mashups really work. Yeah. You know, you don't you yeah. see it, but those, the same crowds, right? they all, they switch yeah, over. They mesh. You know, yeah, they mesh. They do, they mesh. Don't that uh, yeah. Smoke and Grooves tour, we were on it three years in a row, back to back to back. So it was perceived as it was our tour. Right, right. And we always had the same slot, yeah. which was perfect. Like, right before the sun went down, you know, it was a perfect slot. Nice. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you had Public Enemy, Tribe, you know, Gangstar. You had all these You know what was a kick in the balls, though, Bobo? Is that we're the only band that did it all three years, and then when they brought it back, they didn't even fucking invite us, dude. God, damn. they invited everybody else but us. God damn, the dude is right. Those guys are too aggressive. Those guys are too <laughs> aggressive. See, I told you they could have did the build. With, they could have did the bill without us, son. I mean, I mean, that means dicks, right? Does that I mean, mean I saw yeah. I saw the lineup, and then you know Jill Scott. You know it was real mellow. Everybody else but us. Yeah. It was what messed up, man. I'm like, not even an invite. Okay, we were probably busy. I mean, dude, you know, let's be 1,000. We we tour a lot. And we get out there, and we're probably already knocked. But, like, 